At BillFX, we've been using Google Compute Engine uh, as part of our production delivery system. So taking our production servers and our database servers and putting them on Google Compute Engine uh, and seeing how that met our needs. And we've been very uh, satisfied with the way Google Compute Engine uh, performs. So one of the great things about Google Compute Engine in our experience is that the performance is really reliable. So there's not a lot of variability in, uh, in the performance that we see. So that means when a user makes a request, no matter what time of day it is, the response times are very similar. At BuildFax, our customers are mainly insurance companies and lenders. And that means they require of us certain performance characteristics for our web service. So when they make a request to us, we have to give them data within a certain amount of time, or we can't collect money, or we may even have to pay penalties. So for us, consistent performance is really important. Uh, and one of the things that's difficult about being on the public cloud is consistent performance because these are shared resources. Uh, and so one of the great things about using Google Compute Engine is the, is the real performance benefits and the consistency of performance that we've seen on Google Compute Engine. The specific use case that we have used on Google Compute Engine is delivering uh, data points to insurance companies at the point of underwriting policies. So that is, you're a customer, you go in, you want to get homeowner's insurance, and a lot of information gets pulled back about your home in order to price your policy. So that's data that we have to deliver on a schedule very quickly. Uh, and so what we did with Google Compute Engine is we put our delivery servers there, we put our database servers there, and then we ran endless benchmarks against these servers to see what the performance profile would be. And what we saw was that we consistently were getting results in less than four seconds and almost no variability. We were, we were seeing something like a 0.02, 0.03 standard deviation uh, on in terms of the delivery time. So, so in other words, delivery most of the time was happening between uh, 0.37 and 0.43 seconds. We see Google as a great provider of computing resources. So we absolutely can see our production pipeline going onto Google Compute Engine and running. And we can see a lot of our big data requirements and big data analysis that we, the, and a lot of the big data analysis that we do moving to Google Compute Engine. A key advantage to us, uh, and to me uh, in particular, of Google Compute Engine is that Google is one of the pioneers in this space. I mean, they brought Bigtable, they, bought, they brought MapReduce, and to this point in time, it's been an internal Google resource. You know, we, separate companies, haven't had access to use Google's own resources that they have pioneered, and that really everything else out there is just a copying or a re-implementation of what Google's had longer than anybody else. And so the idea that we can have access to these, these like Google Compute Engine, like Bigtable, um, and these, these tools that Google has built for their own infrastructure that we know scale out, that we know are highly resilient, uh, it's, it's fabulous for us. And so there's a lot of confidence that I have uh, when I'm using Google Compute Engine that I'm using this fabulous resource that is so battle-tested out there. Um, and that's, it, it's excellent. And, and in using Google Compute Engine, I have seen this. Uh, I, I've used a lot, of, uh, a lot of options out there for virtualized hardware, uh, and Google Compute Engine just worked. Uh, even though you know, we, were, we were early on and we, you know, we were part of a trusted tester program, the resources just worked. There wasn't any, you know, th this is clearly, this, is, this works, it's been there for a while. Um, it, it's just good stuff. Uh, you know, a company like BuildFax has never had access to actually run on Google's hardware. Uh, and now we can. And, you know, I've tested, uh, I've used Google Compute Engine, and it works. It's there. I can tell that what they've built here uh, is something that is going to work for our business and is going to be a spectacular entry here. It's amazing to have Google enter a public cloud space uh, where anybody can run their own servers on Google's infrastructure. And it's not just about virtualized hardware, about buying computing cycles. It's about the whole infrastructure that Google has behind this. We just, we know it works. We know they've got tons of machines. We know that they know how to manage them and they're managing every piece of them from security to the network layer to all of the data channels. And they're, it's just fast. So we've been using RightScale now for almost three years, and we've built a lot of server templates that have all of our configurations in them. And so when we went to use Google Compute Engine, we just pointed those server templates at Google Compute Engine, and it just worked. Across all of the tests, the thing that, st that stuck out the most was the consistency of performance. Um, so, we, so running the tests 
over and over on Google Compute Engine, we got the same results every time, which is something we've learned that you can't necessarily take for granted, particularly when you've got a deployment in the cloud.